Okay, in the previous chip tutorial, um, we looked at importing various shapes, different shapes, into Zara 3D, and then giving them a different colour and a different extrusion. And I want to take this one a bit further than that, uh, and I want to show you some of the problems that you'll meet doing this, and what some of the ways around uh, that you can actually get around these. Uh, and one of them is using uh, sizing pixels and I'll explain that as the video goes along. Anyway, um, here we have two shapes that we want to import into um, Zara 3D. Um, a bit like sails of a ship, basically, uh, of a yacht. that um, could be any shape at all. Um, could be overlaid on each other or um, separate. Okay, so I'm going to edit, copy shape. Open up Zara 3D, edit, paste. Sorry, I don't know why that took so long. Oh, this is going to fit to width. It's going to be a problem with this. I'm going to have to make this um, a set size instead. Yeah, so that'll be about right. About a, that's um, 100 points. You can't select 100 points, but you can type in the bar 100 points there. Okay, so that's selected. I'm going to hit the uh, show, hide the show and hide the cursor icon, and I'm going to do a carriage return. I'm going to do return to Zara Extreme. This time I'll select the other sale, edit, copy, open up Zara Extreme again, edit, paste. Um, and there you can see the other sale has, has been imported. I'm going to hold down the shift key and with the left arrow key click left and that's selected that I'm going to open up the text options box you can see that the that sale is selected um, and I'm going to move that up to a 100 and I'll click OK you can immediately see one of the problems you've got there is that the sales are actually superimpose themselves on each other and I think they're actually the same same size although you difficult to show in there because they're 72 they're actually the same size um, just to show you just to make sure um, we'll select that last sale that we've imported I'll go into the extrusion option and I'll give that an extrusion of 35 I'll make it 45, so it's blatantly obvious. Just connect that. And you can see that the two shapes, whilst being imported okay, they're being imported one on top of the other. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select them, delete them all. This time, return to Zara Extreme and what I'm going to do is put in some sizing pixels and what sizing pixels actually are um, are pixels that you put to the left and top and bottom and right extremes of the um, shapes you want to import um, here you've got these circular shapes in fact the sizing pic they're, they're only to show you what the so to show you where the sizing pixels are because the sizing pixels actually I have to extend this a minute zoom in if I zoom into there that that is actually the sizing pixel which um, I'm not sure if I can show you so let me pull this open a bit more select that sizing pixel it's in a group so if I select it there you can see it's one pixel by one pixel which is the smallest unit you can get uh, and because of this um, the size that I have to work on doing these tutorials uh, you'd never be able to see that one by one pixel unit at all so, so I've just put these highlight buttons the red round rings highlight buttons 
to highlight where the actual sizing pixels are. Okay, so I'll just show you the frame gallery while we're at it. Here's the highlight sizing pixels. I'll take those sizing pixels off. The sizing pixels, I can't see them at this um, resolution, and I doubt you can even more on the uh, videos, but uh, we'll just talk about that. Um, and I'll deselect and hide shape two, and so I've only got the sizing pixels in editable and viewable, viewable. Shape one is viewable and editable. Okay, I'll move that aside, go edit, select all, edit, copy objects, bring open Zara 3D, edit, paste. This time I'm just going to go fit to width. Okay, because you can actually you can actually see, and I'll do a carriage return this time. Slide that down. Bring up the layers gallery again, so you can see it. I'm going to deselect shape two. I'm going to select shape. Uh, sorry, shape one. I'm going to show and make editable shape two. At the same time, the sizing pixels are also available. Move that aside. Edit. Select all. Select all. Edit. Copy objects, open up Zara 3D, edit, paste, hold down the shift key, and with the left arrow key, click left, open up the text in the text dialog. I'm going to do the baseline shift, put that into 100%, click OK, close the show hide cursor icon. And now you can see that the that the both shapes have been imported with their relative positions as they were in Zara Extreme. Um, one of the things you can't see here, I'm just going to close this down. Let me make this width 150. Uh, I think you can see. Now you can see that the, one of the problems you get with this is these sizing pixels here are showing as little lines and this actually gets worse if I um, shift click to select the second object we imported bring open the bevel option and let's say if I put a, a rounded bevel of um, 50 on the second object move that aside hide the cursor again you can see not only is it put a bevel on the second object that we imported, but it's also put a bevel on the sizing pixels. So of course when you go to animate it, you actually also animate these rather large sizing pixels. Um, so that's the problem with sizing pixels. Um, one of the ways around it is to either export the um, just undo see if I can undo uh, undo edit undo edit undo like that I'm now back to the um, without any bevel on that at all so um, it's easy to see uh, one of the ways you can do that is just to, to export say file export animation um, crop it and it will crop to the um, so you can you will still be able to see the sizing pixels you can then go into um, exp import that into Zara Extreme and cut out those sections there so they're no longer visible and another way to do it, and it's often easier, depending on the animation, how complex the anim animation is, you can actually resize the screen down, but like that, and then show. If you export that with the export option, file, export animation, um, Wait till it brings up the export dialog box. 
just put it in its current window size. Um, don't click the crop, so it'll just go in as, as that section of the window there. And as you can see, I'll cancel that now. As you can see, that is actually now um, being exported. And the sizing pixels are outside the screen. Um, that won't, You won't be able to do that with fit to width. But you can do that if you use the make creating a, a particular tick size. Anyway, I hope that helped you. Um, let's see where we go from there. No. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.